This video describes the display tab in your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. Start by clicking on a single topography on the left hand side, then go up to the display tab. The display tab allows you to alter the appearance of any topography or analysis that you're doing. For instance, if you want to change from an axial interpretation to a tangential interpretation, we can do that here. We can select any of the different analysis options. The standard view is the planar or two-dimensional view, and that gives us the top-down appearance of the topography. If we were to click on perspective, that gives us a 3D view. We could right-click, select the pan, and click and drag the topography to give us the orientation we prefer. Then by increasing or decreasing the perspective scaling, that allows you to accentuate areas where the eye may be very curved or not so curved. Let's go back to planar view and we can change the color map opacity to bring out the rings in behind the color map or conversely increase the color map opacity to 100%, making it impossible to see the rings underneath. You may find that a 70 or 80% gives you the right balance of bright colors, but the ability to just faintly see the rings underneath to determine if any particular area is giving you any false information or suspect information. These Checkboxes allow us to alter what we can see or can't. For instance, if we uncheck the image, that takes away the photokeratoscope image, allowing the view of just the colorized topography. We could uncheck the color to look only at the photokeratoscope image. We could add or take away the numeric meridian data. The Cartesian grid gives us these one millimeter boxes to determine distance. So uncheck or check. The polar grid are these axes lines all the way around the clock. Uncheck or check. The keratometric axes provide the flat axis, the blue line, the steep axis, the red line, and the K readings. So where the topographer thinks the flat and steep axes are. So we could uncheck or check those displays. Annotations is the pupil or any additional annotations we've added to the window. And then lastly, the readout gives us the point where we've placed the cursor. For instance, if we put it in the center, it's at 0 0.04 millimeters away from center at angle 153 with a power of 4540. So we can uncheck or check that. Now, if you prefer to think in terms of the K readings in millimeters, you can change your simulated K readings to millimeters from diopters. Or if you think of the shape factors rather than E value, you may think in terms of P, Q, or E squared value, you can change those here.